Hey guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to be ranking some more popular YA books. This is a video idea that I got from Maddie from My Name is Maddie Inez. She did this video first. This is her idea because she wanted to talk about something people were talking about and doing on Twitter because this whole thing started on Twitter a few weeks back. But I really liked the idea. Her video is down below. I originally was going to do this with our friend group when we were down in Mexico traveling together, um, but we ran out of time and didn't feel like being presentable for or video filming needs. So just me and my opinion. So I did do this on Twitter just very haphazardly while watching an aquarium show on <laughs> Animal Planet and so I'm gonna do it again with a little bit more thought and talk to you guys about it because the last one was kind of thrown together. So if you saw me do the first one we're like you didn't put something in that tier just know that I wasn't thinking. I don't know. This is not sponsored by the way in any way. It's just a fun thing to do. You can do all these like ranking things on this little website. So I have my computer right here and hopefully we can do this well and it won't be like super awkward that I'm just holding my computer in the air. That's gonna get real tiring real quick. Okay the other thing too is I think what I'm gonna try to do is rank it based on that book. So this has standalone books and series on it but it's gonna be very hard to rank a series against a like standalone book so this is only showing the first book in each series that's on here so I'm only basing it on the first book okay okay so yeah that would change things around in some of these series but I'm just ranking on the first book okay so the Raven Boys the first book in the Raven Boys cycle I would say the Raven Boys is good if we were talking about the second book in the series, The Dream Thieves, I'd put that into great, but The Raven Boys I think is good. Strange the Dreamer, this is another one. The first book I would say is, I would say it's okay. Uh, the writing's pretty good. So I would say it's good. Again, I really liked the second book in the series and that would probably still firmly be in like good to great. I would say probably still be in good. So this is kind of good regardless. I love Strange the Dreamer for the writing and I didn't love like the story as much as some people. Okay, Six of Crows, I would say is God tier. That's just my opinion. I also preferred Six of Crows to Crooked Kingdom. I liked them both, but Six of Crows is slightly better for me. Children of Blood and Bone, I would say, I don't know, man. I would probably put it in like, oh, okay, I guess. Um, it's just really forgettable and it's not good, but I wouldn't say it's bad bad. I feel like it's pretty predictable and like pretty tropey. I feel like it came out after a time when it should have come out. I feel like it could have come out like a couple years earlier and been like really great and it just it just didn't. Renegades I haven't read. The first book so again in the Three Dark Crowns I would say is just okay. Um, I liked it. It was fun. I enjoyed it but it was just fine. Um, Illuminae, the first Illuminae book I would say is great. Now the second two are like bad. I would even say the last one is shit. <laughs> so yeah this this would change greatly based on series for me. Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda is just okay. I read an audio I like have forgotten about it. Um, to All the Boys I Loved Before I would say is bad. Um, I did not like this book. I haven't even really been able to get through the movie. It's just like not a super fun time so yeah, I just found it like really immature and stuff. Um, Court of Thorns and Roses, this one would be bad. But again, if Akamath was on here, I would say that's like good to great, in my personal opinion. Um, and then the last book, Echo War, um, would probably be like, okay. Um, the Diviners I haven't read and I won't, sorry, I don't do spooky. Um, Shadow and Bone, I would say Shadow and Bone, and this is on my feelings, like I know it should go here. Like it should as like the quality of the book should go there. But for me, it's great. It's not God. I would put Siege and Storm in God tier for me, even though it should probably go in great tier. Like every book should really go like a step below for uh, the Grisha trilogy, honestly, because I know they're not like the best, but they're the best to me. And on the French Kiss, I really liked it when I read it, but I don't really remember it. I think it's like just okay. I think in my Twitter thing, I put it in good. But I think it's like just fine. Cinder is good. Um, I didn't like love the first book. The uh, Lunar Chronicles books I would say are so forgettable and fluffy for me. Like I liked them. I love them when I'm reading them. I'm like so engrossed in them. I love them. But I never have a compulsion to reread them. I forget them shortly after I read them and they're just like gone from my brain. But they're like so readable. Um, Throne of Glass the first book 
when I read it, I thought it was like, it's okay. Like, it's fine. I wouldn't say it's bad. Like, for me, it wasn't bad, but it's been so long since I've read them. I have, like, a hate of that series based on, like, time and distance, but, like, the first book is just, like, it's fine. I almost get, like, more mad as, as the books go on. Um, The Darkest Minds... I didn't like it. I'm gonna say it's bad. Like, I just... I barely remember anything about it. It's probably not, like, as a book, like, badly written, but it's, like, so slow, and, like, it was bad for me, right? Because this is, like, ranking how I felt about it. Like, it was just... it was bad for me. Like, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't continue. Um, Divergent, the first book, was good for me. I did not read past the first book. Did I? No, I didn't read past the first book. Um, I really liked it when I read it. It's, like, your classic dystopian, but, like, it's... It's whatever. This is the one that got me in trouble last time. <laughs> so um, Mari dragged me on Twitter because originally I put Twilight in the okay tier. Um, and for me, for my nostalgia me, it's probably still an okay. But I actually did watch Breaking Dawn Part 1 on, was on TV last night. And I was reminded like how like bad. So I'm really not doing this because she dragged me because she would drag me again in the comments and I'd probably pin it. But like, it, it, it's bad. <laughs> But like, I know that I don't feel like when I first read this book, I didn't feel the same way I felt when I first read these books. Like, I hated those books when I first read them, where like, I didn't hate Twilight when I first read them. When I first read Twilight, I would put it in great. So like, but now I know. And it's, it's bad, man. But like, <laughs> my nostalgia brain was like, it's fine. And it's like, it's kind of not fine. <laughs> like, it's just bad. But you know, it sometimes is in people's trash pockets. Um, I have not read this election. I haven't read Hush Hush. Um, I did read Matched. I liked the first book when I read it, but it's bad. Like that series, that's one that like the series affects it honestly for me. Like it's it's not good. Like I think I read it when I was still into like YA dystopian and it's just, it's not good. I haven't read Shiver. Um, Hunger Games, the first Hunger Games book honestly is probably in like great. But like, man, I'm gonna put it in God tier. Like it is, it was like so good. Um, my arm's already getting tired. <laughs> um, it was like, yeah, I mean the first Hunger Games book, I just like inhale read it. My favorite one of the series is Catching Fire, as is probably like everyone's, but like it's good. Um, the Fall of Our Stars, I did not like. Um, I thought it was bad. Um, I like the movie a little bit more, which is really weird. Um, Harry Potter is like gonna go in God tier, like for fuck's sake. Well, if I was gonna go by just the first book, it would probably go in great. I mean, I'll leave it in God because like people will probably yell at me. <laughs> I mean, not for that reason, but like it's God tier because it's Harry Potter, but like the first book is probably not in God tier, right? You know, I'm gonna be controversial and put it in great just for the Sorcerer's Stone because I feel like they start getting good at Prisoner of Azkaban, right? Um, haven't read Perks. Um, Eleanor and Park is bad. I, I probably put Eleanor and Park in shit, honestly. Ooh, you know, what I put to all of us all before and shit too. I think I will. Ooh, changing it up. Um, Eleanor Park is shit. Um, garbage. <laughs> it's not good. Um, I was mad at that book. Looking for Alaska, I'll put in, like, okay... When I read it, I would say it was good. Oh, there's problems. I, I don't remember a lot of Looking for Alaska. I loved it when I first read it. Like, I liked it a lot. I think I gave it, like, a four. But when I put it in good... I'll put it in good. The Maze Runner is garbage. <laughs> um, I tried to read that book so many times. I hated it. It was not a good time. I think I did finish it. I did finish it eventually. I had to read it like four. Did I? Or did I DNF it always? I might have always DNF'd it. I think I tried to read it four times. It's bad. Um, the Book Thief, sad religious, but like I kind of just consider The Book Thief okay. Like I, I wasn't like obsessed with it. I've forgotten a lot about it. Um, I think it had so much hype by the time I read it that like, I just didn't really care that much. Um, Percy Jackson, I only read The Lightning Thief, so I can't say, but like, I think it's just fine. Like, I, I mean, it's so hard because I didn't really enjoy it and I would probably put it in bad, but it's not for me, it's middle grade. So like, I think it succeeds for what it's trying to do, but like, I didn't have that much fun reading it. I also read on audiobook, which is like, probably not a good choice because the narrator's really annoying, but the narrator's probably great for middle grade audiences, right? The Hate You Give is God tier. It's good. I mean, I'm, yeah, it's, it's so good. The audiobook was like, fantastic. The narrator's great. I cried in the gym listening to it. It was, it was great. Clockwork Angel. Um, oops, I don't want to put him bad. Uh, it was okay. Um, I really didn't like the first book. Like, it was fine. I think I griped about it. I wouldn't call it bad, but it wasn't great. The next two books are good. I would put the next two books both in the good category. 
Um, Daughter Smoke and Bone is great. Um, I thought the series went a bit downhill. Can you see like my arm is hurting? Um, the series went downhill for me personally, but the first book is great and one of my favorites. I never read The Vampire Academy. I read Delirium and just Delirium. I wouldn't put it in bed. I put it in okay. Um, it was fine. I didn't feel the need to continue. I also heard it got like worse. Like it was just fine. I think I read that one on audio too. Um, Red Queen is shit. <laughs> bad. I mean, I probably could put it in bad or shit, but I really didn't like that first book. It was mostly impacted too by like, it has such hype. And then I read it and I was like, this is garbage. This is like so many tropes put together. I know it's in some people's trash pockets, but like, I, I don't, I don't like it. Um, Aristotle and Dante is in great. Um, really like that book, but I have forgotten a lot about it. I remember it being like beautiful and wonderful, but it's not a book that sits in my feelings the way like a God tier book would. I haven't read The Fifth Wave. Um, Everything Everything I liked, like it's very compulsively readable, but then after, like even right after I read it, thinking back on it, I was like, there's some issues there. Like the stuff with like the disability and like the illness and whatever, like all of that, it's kind of, it's, there's problems. So I probably like reading wise, like enjoyment level, I'd probably put it like an okay when I first read it, but again, I forgot like mostly about it and I know that it's like bad. <laughs> Before I Fall, I haven't read, um, Fallen I haven't read. Shatter Me, the first book, then this is another one, is bad. <laughs> the first Shatter Me book is bad. Um, I would put maybe the second book in okay and then Ignite Me in like good at this point, but the first Shatter Me is, is bad. I haven't read Carry On. Um, I'll Give You the Sun, I would say. I would say it's God tier. I love I'll Give You the Sun. It is like, oh, I cried. It was, it was, it's so good. Yeah, I love it. Um, the Wrath and the Dawn, I would say, is great. Um, the second book is probably just, like, good, um, but The Wrath and the Dawn I loved and is great. What is this one? Wicked Lovely? I haven't read. Um, Winner's Curse? That's great, too. That's, that's a great book. I really loved it. The second book I would put in God tier, and the third book I'd probably put in good. Gentleman's Guide? I would say... Hmm, Huh. 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 That's between okay and good, honestly. I don't really think about it that much, so that's why I'm gonna put it in okay. But like reading it, I felt like it was good. But yeah. The Young Elites I'm gonna put in bad. Um, when I reread it, I kind of felt like it was more okay, but I don't like it and I don't continue with the series and like I, I liked it more on reread than the first time I read it, but it's still like not great for me. I just don't get out with Marie Lou's writing, I really don't. I'm tempted to try her new book. If, I, if like the new book fell into my hands for her, like the new, she has like Kingdom of Bad or Kingdom of Back or something, I would read that probably as like my last chance with her. I've never read Gone. I've never read Scythe, but I plan to. I feel like that would be good. Um, okay, let's scoot you down. Um, the Host. The Host is okay. Um, I really like the movie like a ton more. <laughs> um, but the host is fine and I like ship some of the things in there. Not um, the main girl and the main guy, but the alien and the other guy. <laughs> I don't even know their names. Wanda and Guy. Um, the guy in the movie that is Wanda's like boyfriend, hot. Um, he's great. So um, 13 Reasons Why, ugh. 13 Reasons Why is like extra problematic now because of the show. Um, and it was bad, like I didn't, ugh. I liked the experience of reading it because I read it on audio and I was like very moved by that, but I also was mad at it, and you can see that in my review, because it would like made it seem like he could have like stopped what happened with her. And so yeah, I feel like I feel like for that reason it's bad. But like the reading experience on audio was like an okay experience, but it's bad. Uh Beautiful Creatures, I never read. Um Every Day is shit. <laughs> I really had a horrible experience reading that book. The book made me so angry. I didn't like a lot of the stuff that it did. It's like, I feel like it was like fat phobic and transphobic if I remember correctly. Like it had a lot of like issues and I just felt like it was really gross. Darker Shade of Magic, the first book, I feel like is bad. Um, it's bad to okay, honestly. I was just like very meh about the first book. I hated the second book and that would be in shit tier. And the third book I actually really liked and it would go in good tier. Um, the fact that I had to keep reading those books for book two best FF awards is like the only reason I read past The Darker Shade of Magic because I wouldn't have. I haven't read Stalking Jack the Ripper. I haven't read The Foxhole Court, but I plan to. Um, what's this? The uh, Something Fall Apart? I haven't read that. 
Um, All the Bright Places, haven't read it. Um, I haven't read most of these. Warcross, haven't read it. Um, Astonishing, whatever, blah, 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 of After, I have not read it. Um, Mara Dyer, have not read. Um, Fangirl, I would say is okay. Um, it was like an enjoyable reading experience. I don't really remember it. I don't love Rainbow Rowell's books. Of the like popular YA contemporary authors, I love Morgan Madsen and Janie Nelson like the most. Um, because I've read the most of their books too, but I've read a lot of Rainbow Rowell and like it's fine. Aragon I read like a million years ago and I can't really say, but I'd say that it's good. Um, I liked it when I read it, but I was also like 14, so I don't remember. Um, and then The Cruel Prince, the first book, I would say is bad. Um, I did not like the first book of The Cruel Prince um, at all. Like, I did not have a fun experience with that. I wouldn't call it shit, but because I liked the end a bit, but I didn't like it. I would say Wicked King I'd probably put in good, and then the last book I'd probably put in okay to bad. So, um, but that is it. So, yeah. How do you, how do you guys, how do you guys feel about, about my feelings? This is, this feels accurate. A lot of them I haven't read. I like the way that this, like, has like a nice bell curve to it. You know, like most books, there should be the most books in the okay tier. And then, yeah, like there shouldn't be that many in the God and Great, you know? So yeah, I'm very happy with this. So this feels like my most accurate thoughts and not my thoughts hobbled together when I was watching Seals on Animal Planet. But comment down below and let me know your thoughts on ranking these popular YA books. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.